All right, welcome to our Thursday q and I'm just pulling up the questions now. Looks like we have about five questions. So um, uh, I made a post earlier today that I am wrapping up the end of a new workshop that I have created. Um, been working on this workshop for about 10 years, but didn't have the final components until these last few months. So it's all kind of coming together. Um, you know, makes perfect sense with all the other workshops that we've done, you know, warrior training, uh, vision quest, I am training, method acting. You know, I think that the Holy Grail on this planet is what we're realizing right now is its connection, its relationships. It's the number one thing that we came here to explore in a human form is the true connection of spirit with spirit and to give and receive. And I think that that's been the biggest um, barrier to expansion. It's been the biggest barrier of healing. Um, love is, is buried trauma in your money issues. It's buried issues in your body. And, you know, this, this thing is we learn in, um, we learn in, in the new age metaphysics that all we are is love. We are love. So imagine being love and not truly being able to express yourself, right? Hell on earth. Being love and, and having a heart big enough to receive that back and not being able to receive that back. Torture, right? So when we think about the pursuit of success and happiness and money and all these things, it's always a roundabout way of, of attaining or expressing love. So this workshop that I'm working on is I'm almost done with, wrapping up the, the last part of it. I'm actually gonna be teaching some energy medicine in this workshop, which I don't think I've done before. Um, and it's based in a quantum expression of surrogacy. So that's all I'm gonna tell you because it's something that I have been kind of working with with my own inner child. Um, I usually do this when I'm working with someone who's very, very ill or someone who has such intense um, barriers between themselves and their identification that they, they really need to kind of a surrogate energy. So you guys will be learning some quantum healing, uh, uh, hands-on touch uh, modalities in this workshop because again, the reconciliation is the phase that we're gonna be moving into in 2021. You know, 2020 was the year of the vision quest. It was when we went deep within ourselves and um, and really examined from a place of less busyness. You know, we were in a pandemic. We were faced with our our greatest fears, our greatest worries. We were we were um, kind of suffocated and told what to do. And so it pushed all of our buttons. You know, our authority issues. You know, what obviously pressure always does is it awakens. It creates you know the diamond from the coal. So. Sometimes as a collective, we really need to kind of go through that experience to awaken. And I think that we could all agree that the world is waking up. Um, doesn't mean that it's all going smoothly. Chaos is an essential part of creation. Destruction is a central part of creation. Rebirthing is a central part of creation. And we are going to go through all of that on a macro level and a micro level individually in our own particular universes. And that's really the most important thing is this own unique universe that you have created for yourself, making it holistically healthy um, and becoming the master of your own frequency and vibration to create that which you desire, even when circumstances, you know, dictate other rules, you begin to follow your own virtual reality rules of creation. But that has to come when love at its ultimate base part within you is healed. So I'm very excited about this workshop. We're going to be covering in everything from the twin flame energy to the soulmate energy to the toxic relationships that bind us, pull on our heartstrings, keep us obligated, keep us very, um, you know, committed uh, to the family dynamic, to your intimate relationships and how they are a projection and reflection of the wounding and the magic that resides within you. Because, you know, not everything is about shadow work. Some things are about recognizing inspiration and spirit in people places and things and how to you know use that as a muse for healing that relationship with love that you have 
also about um, really taking kind of responsibility for who and what we've been to other people and how we have abused ourselves in having relationships. You know, a lot of times in the third dimension, having healthy relationships with others is about self-denial. And we know that as we kind of go through our metamorphosis, that self-denial and self-rejection create a lot of sabotage in our life, don't they? You know, the inner child's not happy. Life can be pretty uh, ruined very quickly because there's a lot of sabotaging energy that happens. And and I always teach in the platform of the me, myself, and I, the me being the ego component of ourselves, you know, the 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 um, warden or the govern the 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 kind of um, unhealthy parent. And then the inner child, which is the expression of both non-physical reality and physical reality uh, that is created through imagination of uh, that idea of creation itself. And then the I am presence, which is infinite possibilities kind of beckoning you into understanding that your limits are just technically challenges and possibilities in disguise. And when we work with those three elements together um, and use our we're going to be using our fractals um mirrors we're going to be in that house of mirrors during the whole workshop we're going to use time and space to find out where we are vibrating and find that last bit of trauma that is kind of holding back that powerful love relationship that you want to create and when i say love i mean partnerships investors clients um family reconciliation um you know soulmates um, you know, reworking that soulmate, uh, that twin flame energy and moving it into alignment and understanding what it all means and understanding how the inner child and ego is holding that abundance and that, that kind of freedom away from you and really being able to determine where you are vibrating and take back that kind of responsibility through reconciliation, through repair, through, re through a rebooting and through, um, moving into a new state of being as the observer and taking back the ultimate um, presence and moving into that true apology energy, which is the best apologies always change behavior. So learning how to change our toxic behavior in relationships and look at where we are secretly protecting ourselves in relationships to not get hurt, which therefore in duality keeps relationships away and attracts relationships that will hurt us because we're in a state of protection and the universe only has one answer and it's always yes so if i'm in lack i attract lack if i'm in protection i attract something to be protected too if i've been hurt i'm going to be attracted to someone who could hurt me so you can kind of see where we're going to be going we're going to be using the house of mirrors called people places and things their intimate relationships surrogacy through quantum healing and a full reconciliation of the me, myself, and I, um, holy grail. And even though we're going to be working in relationships, you'll notice how relationships take care of the money and the relationships take care of the physical body. So I hope you guys will join me for that.